What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Team Fish Knuckles YouTube channel. Today is Alabama State's the finals, the championship. Whoever wins is the title or the champion of Alabama. And as you saw in the last game, we saw Blake take down Jose with his Mega Rayquaza Jolteon on deck. So he is moving to the finals, and let's see what happens. And actually, Blake is from Alabama, so will he defend his own state and take the, I guess, the gold for his state? We'll see what happens. If you give me a second, we'll see the player on the right and see what they're playing. All right, on the right, we have James Miller one more time playing his Night March deck. He was in round number six. He took down the Mirror Match in round number seven when he took down the Tremnant Match. And here he is in the finals, made it all the way, playing his Night March deck. And if you don't remember, he does only play the two Shaman. He plays the one Psychic Energy for the Punkaboo to use Ram and or for the Stardust, most likely for the Stardust. Uh, no Zerosic, uh, which is pretty interesting, but he does have the Drachi to, to use that instead. But hopefully you join this video, and let's see what's going to happen as Mega Arquaz or is Night March going to take the victory for Alabama State? Let's see it right now. Alright guys, here we go. Alabama State's the finals, the championship. On the left, we have Blake. And like I said earlier, on the right, we have James playing his Night March deck. So it is Night March versus a Mega Rayquaza Jolteon deck. And let's see what's going to happen. And if you're confused about the bottom, don't worry. I actually accidentally put top four instead of the finals of the words. So I had to change it. And it looks kind of funky right now. But we see an Ultra Ball from Blake discarding a Mega Quaza and a Mega Turbo. Looks like he is eyeballing the Age of Slash, okay. Alright, so you could get that in the Age of Slash, making it where James can't hurt it unless he plays a Hex Maniac. Uh, so let's see what this Ultra Ball does get. He's going to look through his deck to see what's all in there. He could get a Jolteon as well. And maybe start using Flash Ray turn 2, uh, making it where, you know, if, if, I mean, if, if, if Blake gets out of Jolteon... James can literally do nothing. He will just kind of just lose. Uh, so it's like a Hoopa, maybe? I can't, that is a glary card. But it must be a Hoopa. He's getting out of the closet and Age of Slash. And what is the third card going to be? Mm, uh, Mega Rayquaza, okay. I don't know if going for Mega Rayquaza is the best answer in this matchup. Because, you know, James does play Joltix, which hit for weakness on your Rayquazas. So we see Rayquaza come down in Age of Slash as well. We see a Trainer's Mel. Look at top four cards of his deck. And what does he decide to get? Looks like he is going to grab a switch. Okay. Uh, he could switch into the Age of Slash. And uh, making it where James, like I said earlier, cannot take a knockout unless he plays Hex Maniac. So we'll see uh, a switch into the Age of Slash. Alrighty. And let's see what else Blake decides to do. Um, he's going to, uh, looks like a Shaman setting up for six new cards. Okay. Alright. And we see a Link. It's a uh, Mega Quaza, and he has a Lightning in his hand. He could put down on the Mega Quaza, but we see a second mark on discard his hand, drawing seven new cards. He is looking for a Mega Turbo um, to attach to the Mega Quaza this turn, or maybe a DC as well. Uh, so we see a DC going after the Quaza. Okay. Once again, I apologize for that glare, but it is right now a Hoopa, Mega Quaza, Shaman, and a Shaman. It looks like maybe another Quaza comes down, maybe not. And we'll see a Trainer Smell. Blake will look at the top four cards of his deck. What does he decide to get? Um, looks like he's trying to side. Looks like he is going to have a Sycamore. All right, Sycamore Goat comes down into his hand for the next turn. But Blake has to find a way to retreat this Age of Slash. That's the big question for the following turn. If it's still in the active spot, if it doesn't get knocked out. But we'll see a pass on to James' turn. Let's see what happens. We'll see a Battle Presser. He'll probably discard like three Lampets out of his deck. Maybe two and a Supporter card. Maybe like a Sycamore. He doesn't have a Supporter card in his hand, but he does have a VS Seeker. So that's a, that's a possibility as well. Uh, James does have a Dimension Valley as well, so he can attack with his Pokemon turn 1, but he can't hurt this Age of Slash because it can't be hurt by Pokemon with Special Energies, which is very good for Blake. So we see a Lamp be a discard and another Lamp it, and what is that third card going to be? I think James does have a Zerosic, I think that is the bottom of his deck. Uh, looks like we see a Lysander. Now if James can discard another, po another Pokemon in the discard pile, he could maybe Lysander that Shaman and take a knockout on turn 1 on one of those guys and be good to go. Alright, so let's see what James decides to do. He does have an Ultra Ball. Looks like he has a BS Seeker, maybe? Oh, a Dimension Valley coming down. We see a DC to the active. Alright, so things are looking good for him. He does have a BS Seeker. And like I said, he could VS Seeker for a Lysander. Bring up that Shaman and try to take a quick knockout on turn number one. So we see an Ultra Ball discarding a, uh, a Dimension Valley and a VS Seeker. I think he might grab a Joltic, actually. Okay, so you can grab the Joltic. 
And let's see what he decides to do. A shame is setting up. Oh, he already has a shame in his hand, and he wants to make sure he sets up for a whole new seven new or six new cards. I don't know. I might have license to bring up a shame to try to take a knock on it. Uh, but maybe he's trying to go for like a crazy turn one hex maniac play. Uh, we see a trainer smell. He's trying to decide what to do. Uh, those are his cards in his hand. He has an ultra ball, flowstone, something else. And let's see what does he get out of the. Uh, out of the out of his out of his trainer cards trade as well. Let's see what he gets. Uh, looks like he's still trying to decide. Maybe puzzle time. I don't know how much I like that. He does have an ultra ball though, so that's a key thing. He can keep the party going, get new shaman. It looks like he is gonna get a train as well for our teammates. Alright. And then we'll see an ultra ball discarding a pumpkin boo and a lampet. So right now there's five night marches in the discard ball. No. Four or five? Did he disc no four in there? So 20, 40, 60, 80 is how much he's gonna do right now with Pumpkaboo. He could get another shaman, maybe. Uh looks like he's maybe eyeballing a Joltic. Uh remember, James only plays two Shabes, so that could bite him, maybe. Alright, so we'll see what James decides to do. He's looking through his discard pile, see what's all in there. Uh he accidentally accidentally discarded the teammates, but it definitely goes into his hand. He offered Blake's a cut, and let's see what else does he have. Um, I mean, he can Night March. It'll just do zero damage. Um, let's see. He's counting on his fingers to see what he's going to do. And let's see. Pass on to Blake's turn. All right. Now, let's see what Blake can do. Can he find a way to retrieve this Age Slash and take a knockout with that Mega Rayquaza? That is the big question. Let's see. What does he do? Does he have a Sky Field above that Dimension Valley? Uh, James has already played one. So, there's a Via Seeker. Grabbing the Skyla. All right. So Skyla will come into play, and let's see what Blake... I didn't even see Blake discard the Skyla, but I guess somehow it did. There's a Mega Turbo coming down. All right. All right. So we see a Mega Turbo go attach a Light Energy from his discard pile to that Mega Rayquaza, but does Blake have a Switch card or not? That's the big question. Does he have an AZ, maybe? And Oh, he already played Skyla. So, nope. Just a pass on a James' turn. We see a Trainer's Mel. Look at the top four cards of his deck. And let's see, what does he decide to get? I think I saw a bunch of Pokemon in a DCE. Um, and let's see, a Sycamore is in, in the top four. I know I saw a DCE. It looks like a Trainer's Bell, maybe? Okay, an Acrobike. There he goes. So an Acrobike is coming to his hand. I was going to say, he can't Trainer's Bell for a Trainer's Bell. But Trainer's Bell for an Acrobike is legal. So, Trainer's I mean, Acrobite, look at top two cards of his deck. And let's see what he decides to discard. Looks like, I'm not sure what card that was. I'm sorry about that. That was way too fast. Uh, but we see a DC to stand. We'll see a Night March. Do nothing one more time. On a Blake's turn. Let's see what happens. Alright. I wonder if Blake can find his Jolteon. That's the real question. We'll see a Battle Presser. He's going to discard three cards out of his deck. Maybe an AZ. Maybe a Lysander. Um, maybe an Energy card to make a Turbo with. So there's an AZ. I do like the AZ being discarded because he can via Seeker. Pick up that Age Slash and take a Knockout right now with that Mega Rayquaza. Alrighty, so there's a VS Seeker for AZ. Pick up the Age Slash, and we will promote the Mega Rayquaza. And we will see an Ember Break. It will knock out this Pokeboo. But the question is can James knock out this Mega Rayquaza? It does hit for weakness with the Joltik, which is great for James. Uh, we see another Rayquaza coming down, and we will see an Ember Break for the knockout. But we're seeing a Blake look through his discard pile, pile first. Uh, we see an Ultra Ball discarding a Rayquaza and a Sycamore. Alrighty, and let's see what he decides to get. Maybe another Shebe, maybe a Jolteon. Uh, he is going to grab a Shebe, alright. So, Shebe is going to come down, draw five new cards, I'm pretty sure. Um, so, Shebe, it looks like it is going to be five. One, two, three, four, and five. Alrighty. We see a Skyfill bump in that Dimension Valley. Like I said, James has already played like two, um, so that could be pretty bad. We see a Trainer's Mill. It looks like he's going to grab a Via Seeker, okay. Alright, he might not use Via Seeker this turn. He could, um, but I don't know how great that's going to be. And, yeah, we're going to see an Ember Break for the knockout on a James' turn. Let's see. He does have a DC in his hand. The question is, does he have enough Night Marchers in the discard pile? Remember, he is hitting for weakness. So, there's, a uh, looks like there's six in the discard pile. One, two, three, four, five. There's, there's five. So, he's only hitting for 100 damage right now, which is not a knockout. We'll see teammates. This is going to get a Battle Presser and then maybe a Via Seeker as well. So, Blake is in trouble. I mean, he's going to, like, James is pretty much going to be in the driver's seat now. Um, he's going to take a knockout. With this Joltik, and then he will teammates probably one more time. I mean, the two cards he should get, like I said, is a Battle Presser and a Via Seeker, and just continue the teammates loop at, turn after turn after getting knocked out. I think that's the best way to go. I think he already has a DC in his hand, unless I'm crazy. If he doesn't have a DC in his hand, then Battle Presser and DC is the best two cards to get to get your knockout and be good to go. 
But let's see what he decides to do. There's a Fighting Fear Bell. I'm not sure what else is in there. Looks like he is debating a VS Seeker. It looks like he's debating a Hex Maniac. Looks like he's... Okay, he's just counting cards right now. So two puzzles coming to his hand. Um, I guess two puzzles is fine. Oh, man, I don't know. Does he have enough Night Marches in the Discard Pile? That's my question. Um, so he is, he is using double puzzles right now. I think... I don't know. I don't know if I like using double puzzles right now or saving them for later. Uh, but I mean, he is in the finals, so we see a puzzle getting a DCE and a VS Seeker. All right. Uh, maybe there's more Night Marches in the Discard Pile than what I thought there was. Uh, but he's a Fighting Fear Bell. This will be that should be a knockout. That should do like uh two ten, which I think is enough to knock out Mega Rayquaza. Uh, I'm, I mean. Uh, two, 220, yeah, yeah, 220, because it hits for weakness times 2. So 110, the times 2, 220, which is a knockout on Mega Rayquaza. So there we go. Ona Blake's turn. Can he find a Jolteon or not? That's the big, big question. Uh, we see an Ultra Ball discarding a Battle Crescer and a uh, Skyfield. All right, and let's see what he decides to get with this Ultra Ball. He could get maybe another Mega Rayquaza, but that's just going to knock down, like, almost immediately. Like, it's just going to be knocked out so quickly. Uh, we see a, Dr a Drachi. And what Blake can do is retreat and start us. That could make things interesting for sure. Uh, but, I mean, all James has to do is not, um, what is it, not play an uh, uh, energy card. He'll be okay. Uh, we see an escape rope. And let's see what James decides to send up. Um, maybe the Joltik most likely. Looks like he might send up the Shaman. Oh, I don't know. If, uh, if he has the Flowstone in his hand, that'd be okay. Looks like he is going to eyeball the Joltik, though. All right, so he's going to send up the Joltik. And we'll see a Sycamore discard his hand, draw seven new cards. And let's see, what does Blake have? Does he have anything or not is a big question. All right, so we'll see a pass on a James turn. Let's see, does he have a Hex? Does he have a Lysander? Um, a Lysander could, like, bring up a Shame and take a knockout with a DC in his hand. That would be good. We see a Battle Presser. He's going to discard three cards out of his deck. Looks like he's going to discard a Lysander, Lampant, and then maybe something else. Um, just maybe some other card he really doesn't need. So yeah, Lampant, Lysander, and then we'll see what the third card is here in a second. Maybe a Pumpkin Boo? That could be good. I mean, because if James takes a knockout this turn on an EX, he'll be down to two prize cards. So he really only needs these two uh, Night Marchers on the field. I can't see what those cards he discarded, but it uh, looks like a Pumpkin Boo, a Lysander, or something else. Uh, maybe a Hex Maniac? Oh, but we'll see. Uh, he does have multiple DC in his hand. He has a Flowstone as well. We're seeing how many Night Marches are in, the, in there. I think there's six, though, so that doesn't really change anything. We see a DC to the active. Does he have a license or not? And, uh, wait for it. Wait for it. And he's debating what to do with this card. It is a VS Seeker. If he has a Lysander, you definitely bring up a shame and you take a knockout. And you take your two prize cards. I think, yeah, I think that's the best way you go. I think you just Lysander take a knock on a Shaman. Yep. All right, we'll see a Lysander come up. Going to bring up a Shaman, and we'll see a Night March for the knockout. There we go. All right, so James takes two prize cards on a Blake's turn. He promotes that Jirachi. But we know that James does have the Flowstone on his, his Joltik, so you could just Flowstone retreat and be good to go. We see a Zerosa come down. We see a DC to the active. We'll see a Stardust. So Blake actually gets rid of all of James' energy in one single turn, which is pretty crazy. There's a Stardust. It actually doesn't do any damage because of resistance. Drachi does have resistance to steal. So on the James' turn, does he have another Lysander or not? Or another VS Seeker? We'll see a Dimension Valley coming down. He does have DC in his hand. There's an Acrobite discarding uh, a Battle Compressor. We'll see a Trainer Smell. He is looking for a VS Seeker to knock out a Shaman on the bench to win the game in round number one of the Alabama State's uh, finals. Almost at top four. But there's a puzzle time going into his hand. We know he's already played two. Um, but let's see what he decides to do. He does have a DCE, but what he could do is just hold on to it and not do anything. He can just pass. Like, just pass. That's fine. Drachi can't use Stardust. It can, but it, it doesn't have any effects anymore. Um, Jirachi still has the effect going on, to, on it right now. And he has a Flowstone in his hand. He will Flowstone that Shebe. And we'll see a DC to the active. Okay, okay. I don't know if I like this or not. Uh, we'll see a Jolta come down. Maybe he has a Shaman in his hand, and that's why. Uh, maybe he's trying to play everything out, then play Shebe. Yep, there's a Shebe. All right, so drawing up to six cards. Can he find a VS Seeker or not? And there's a VS Seeker for Lysander, bring it to the Shaman, and James will take game number one of Alabama State's finals. So Night March does beat the uh, Mega Rayquaza deck. I don't know if Blake showed his uh, prize cards. 
But I do know that all of Blake's Jolteons were prize game number one. I remember he told me that, and I remember my friends that were watching uh, said uh, all of his Jolteons were prized. And that's why he wasn't grab any with his Ultra Ball. I'm like 99% sure that Blake would have grabbed one in the early game or in the earlier rounds when, like, especially with James, just like just draw a pass. And I think you just go for a Jolteon. You go for the Flash Ray, saying, "Hey, you can't hurt me." Unless you lysed around me. Uh, but we'll see what happens in game number two. Hopefully Blake does not prize all of his Jolteons again. Because that would be pretty crazy. Alright. Hopefully you have a better game. And both players were kind of slow. Uh, it wasn't very that exciting. Blake only took one knockout. James did take all six eventually. But it's Night March. We know it's eventually going to take all of his, uh, all of his prize cards. Or it's just going to lose uh, so here we see both players are setting up. We see James found one card. We see a Blake found a card. And let's see what's going to happen. And here we go. We see a Pumpkin Boo. And hey, there's Jolteon. Hey, there you go, buddy. All right, so all Blake needs to do is get down another Jolteon. And he'll be good to go. We see a Jirachi come down. Okay. He has an Ultra Ball. He needs an Ultra Ball for a, Jir uh, a Jolteon. And okay, so we see a Lightning Energy. Okay. And, alright, so Blake's already having a good turn one. He needs to put down another Pokemon, though. That's the big thing. If he doesn't put down another Pokemon, Blake can, I mean, James can maybe escape rope it up. Uh, so we see a pass on a Blake's turn. We see an Acrobite. Look at the top two cards of his deck. Go ahead and discard a Trainer's Mill. Okay. We see another Trainer's Mill. Uh, looks like, let's see what he decides to get. Not sure what he'll get. Maybe an Ultra Ball to search on a Shaman. Maybe a Battle Presser. Looks like he is going to grab an Ultra Ball, though. Okay. We'll see in Battle Presser, discard three cards out of his deck. Maybe two and a supporter card if he has a VS Seeker in his hand. Just like a game number one. You kind of follow that same combo. Uh, but let's see what Battle Presser discards. Oh, man. Let's see what are the three cards going to be. Maybe, like I said, two Lampets and then maybe some kind of supporter card. That's usually the route you want to go on your first Battle of Compressor. Unless you already have a supporter card in your hand, then maybe you just discard three Lampets. But... All the Blake's Pokemon are pretty, can be knocked out fairly easy. I mean, even Jolteon has 160 HP, which is like nothing in the Night March game to knock out. Uh, but let's see what Battle Presser discards. He's still debating what to discard. Like I said, it's going to be two Lampants and then a Supporter card. So we'll see. Um, what does James decide to do? He is just waiting. Uh, but hopefully Blake has a supporter card. He really didn't play anything except the Jirachi Lightning, uh, or not even Lightning, just a DCE. So is he a Lamp being discarded? Okay, I'll, I'll agree with that Lamp being discarded. That's a, that's a good card to discard. Okay. Looks like he, he is eyeballing a Lysander. Was he a, uh, is that a Pumpkin Boo? Wait, is a Pumpkin Boo being discarded? If that's the case, that's not good. Because if Pumpkin Boos are being discarded, that means he prized a lot of Lampants. Oh, man. Um... I think that's a yeah, that's a Pumpkin Boo. So two Pumpkin Boos and a Lampet are being discarded. This means that either James has like three Lampets in his hand, or he prized three Lampets, which would be pretty crazy. But it's not unheard of. We saw last round Jake did prize. I mean, uh, not Jake Blake prized two of his uh, Jolteons. So we see an Ultra Ball discarding a Pumpkin Boo and something else. And let's see what he decides to get. Maybe a Shebe to help set up. And I think that's what it is. It is a full art card, so I'm going to say it is Shaman. So you have Shaman, alright. So we see a Dimension Valley, a uh, Jirachi, Shaman drawn five cards. And let's see what does James have. Uh, we see an Acrobite, look at the top two cards of his deck. And let's see what card he decides to discard. Looks like he is going to discard an Acrobite, okay. We see a Trainer's Mill, look at the top four cards of his deck. And let's see what Trainer card does he get. He must have one if he's looking at his hand to debate what to do. Um, wait for it. So a battle presser coming down. Alrighty. So we'll see a battle presser coming down. Uh, James could just almost immediately play it just to discard three cards out of his deck. So another trainer's mill. Look at the top four cards of his deck again. I think actually you want to battle compressor first. Like I think you want to battle compressor, discard cards out of your deck, and then maybe use trainer's mill. Um, but I mean, yeah, we'll see what happens. Uh, James is going to get a via seeker off that trainer's mill. Which is good. I don't think he's played a supporter card yet. I'm pretty sure he hasn't. Oh man, that's pretty crazy. No supporter card. We see a battle presser. He will discard maybe three night marchers. Um, and can he take a knockout on this Jolteon? If he can take a knockout on the Jolteon, he'll be like a okay. Looks like he's gonna discard a Lysander, some kind of psychic thing, and something else. I'm not sure what that is, but we'll see a shuffle. All right. And we see an Ultra Ball. Uh, looks like a DC to the active. We'll see a Via Seeker for maybe a Lysander. Uh, going to bring up that Jolteon. And can he take a knockout or not? 
like he is not going to, okay? So is he a Night March? Not doing a lot, and let's see, on the Blake's turn, let's see what happens. Oh, he actually just Hex maniac and just took a knockout. Sorry, sorry, he Hex maniac and took a knockout. Uh, looks like we see a card coming down. We see a, a card coming down as well. We'll see a retreat into the Age Slash. So he put down a Rayquaza and Age Slash, and he evolves into Mega Rayquaza. All right. So on a James turn, he actually Mega Evolved his Age Slash into a Mega Rayquaza, but then that's that would not be a good idea because then Mighty Shield would not be working anymore. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. I'm just kidding. Uh, but we see an Ultra Ball discarding a uh, Lampet, and so he did discard. A, he did get a Lampet off the discard pile, which is great. And it's Sycamore, alright, so those two cards being discarded, and let's see what James decides to do. Maybe get another Shaman, and hey, hey man, you play two Shamans, and they're just not going to be prized. I guess that's James' motto, and it is working out for him so far. Alright, and let's see what else. We see a DC going to Jirachi, we see a Shaman going to set up for six. One, two, three, four, five. okay. Alright, and let's see what else does James have. Does he have a Hex Manic or a Lysander is the big question. If he doesn't have any of one of those, then he's not taking a knockout on this Aegis Lash this turn. And he's debating. He has a Fighting Fear Belt. He has uh, a VS Seeker, a Target Whistle. Okay, I don't know how much Target Whistle is going to help you in this matchup right now. Uh, it could be used later on, though. Let's we'll see a Fighting Fear Belt to the active. Give that uh, Pelku 100 HP, which means Jolteon will have to two-shot it. And let's see what else is going to happen. Um... Will we see Hex Maniac or not? Is Hex Maniac already been played? Is the real question. Um, so we see a VS Seeker. Uh, puzzle time. Rearrange top three cards of his deck and uh, gonna put those three on top any way he wants to. I wonder which. I mean, we can't tell. He'll know what three cards are being put on top, but I mean, we can't know. It looks like a Megaphone at Puzzle Time and something else. I man, that's probably not a good feeling. Like use a Puzzle Time to see a Puzzle Time is probably not that great at all. Like, oh man. Uh, so let's see what James decides to do. He is debating on these three cards. I guess he doesn't know. Maybe they're all three really good. So yeah, gonna put the, the that way. Okay, all right. I like I like the way he put those three cards. That was the way I would have put them. Just I don't know. I don't. I didn't see what cards he, he put. Uh, but we see a, probably a night march for nothing. All right. So we see an ultra ball discarding a break cause of spear link and a mega turbo. All right, and let's see what Blake decides to get. If he can get a DCE and somehow attack with this Jolty on this turn, he'll be like A-OK. -okay. But there's just Shaman coming down. And man, I mean, I guess if Blake doesn't have anything, I guess he'd go for Shamans. Uh, but that's scary put down to Shaman because now James has like multiple ways to six prize cards. Not only does he have a target with away, but he has just like regular like knockout on board way. Um, with like all those Pokemon, all those EX Pokemon being down. So we see another Jolton come down as well. Blake's going to count how many cards are in his hand and trying to figure out what to do. And looks like we are going to see an Ulch Ball discarding a Battle Presser and something else. I'm not really sure what the other card is. Uh, but we see a Shave coming down. And can Blake find a way to retreat this Aegis Slash and a DC, I mean a, a light, a DC, yeah, to uh, use Flash Ray? All right, so let's see what happens. We'll see a switch. So he does have the switch into the Jolteon. All right, does he have a DC or not? There's a Shaman. Going to set up for five. Can he find a DC or not? Oh, no. oh I don't think he found one. Oh, man, if he didn't find one, that'd be kind of bad. Um, Blake would be put in a weird spot. Like, does he retreat to the other Jolteon, given a free retreat? Uh, we see an AZ picking up the Shaman. Oh, Blake still has some stuff, some, some stuff up his sleeves. We we'll see a Shaman drawing one card. Is it a DC or not? Mm, maybe not. Uh, we'll see your treat into the Age Slash, and we'll just see another pass on a James turn. All right, so let's see what James decides to do. Does he have a Hex Maniac? Does he have a Lysander? Uh, we do see a Jolted coming down. All right. And let's see what he decides to do. He could Night March one more time, doing no damage. Looks like we are going to see a VS Seeker. He could grab a Lysander, bring up a Shaman, and then maybe take a knockout. There's one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that would be a knockout. Um, Lysander, a Shaman. Use Night March. It will take a knockout. So license the Shaman. And we'll see Night March take it a game. And it looks like James is in driver's seat. He has three parts cards left to James's uh to Blake's six. So we see Skyfield coming down. We'll see a Sycamore going to discard his hand. Draw seven new cards. Can he find a DC or not? I see multiple lightning energies, but I do not see a DC as of right now. Unless we're, hey, there we go. I was just crazy. So a DC going into the active, and we'll see flash rate for 70 damage. Now this Jolteon cannot be hurt during uh, James' turn unless you like escape ropes Lysanders. That's the only real way you can get out of the act spot to attack it. Um, but let's see what James decides to do. What does he have? 
And let's see, what is he going to do? He has an Ultra Ball in his hand, okay. He's going to look at Blake's discard pile to see what's all in there. Making sure he's going to make the correct move. Don't want to make any wrong moves here in the finals of uh, Alabama State. All right. So he's going to look through his discard pile one more time, trying to decide what to do. What can I do with my hand? He has a DC in his hand. If he has a Lysander, he can take a knock on a Shaman. That could be great. Um, and then maybe take the final prize card with a Joltik on a um, Rayquaza, maybe? Or another Shaman or something? I don't know. Uh, but we'll see what James decides to do. Uh, he does have a DC in his hand. I don't know if he wants to put that down. Uh, let's take over to see an Escape Rope. Is that what that is? Uh, target whistle, okay, gonna bring out a shaman, alright, alright, so target whistle coming down, James is gonna ha see how many Pokemon is just got ball, and does he have a Lysander or not, via secret for Lysander would be very helpful, or maybe a Hex Maniac could be great as well, uh, we we'll see a DC going out to the Joltik, okay, and we'll see a, maybe an Ultra Ball, he can't Ultra Ball for shaman because he's already played the two that are in his deck, if he grabs the third one then, then that'd be crazy, uh, but we we'll see a Joltik coming down, Alright, and maybe, maybe, yep, Jolteon's coming down. We'll see a Sycamore discard his hand, draw seven new cards. So, that Jolteon is A-OK. -okay. I think earlier I said Hex Maniac, but you can't Hex Maniac a Jolteon, um, just to make that clear. But let's see what does James have, and we'll see a Night March for nothing. Alright, Owen of Blake Stern, he's going to use a Flash Ray one more time. Take a knockout on this Pumpkaboo, and this might be able to swing the game, maybe. Uh, we see a Lysander bringing up that Jirachi. And Blake wants to take a knockout on this Jirachi before you start us. Uh, so yeah, he's going to take a knockout. Blake will go down to five prize cards. And James is still in that other, like, the weird position. Like, he can't take a knockout on this Jolteon. But does he have a license to knock out a Shaman? That's the real question. So James is going to look at his discard pile. He's going to promote that Joltik. And let's see what happens. All right, on to James' turn. He plays an Acrobite. Look at the top two cards of his deck. Can he find a VS Secret for a Lysander is the big question. I'm not sure how many he's played, how many VS Secrets he's played, but oh, I don't think it's been that many, though. Um, he's contemplating his cards, and let's see what he decides to get. He's looking through his hand one more time. Alright, and, oh, 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 gonna look through his discard pile one more time to see what's all in there. And, uh, I'm not sure what he grabbed, I'm not gonna lie to you. Uh, but we see Trainer's Mode look at the top four cards of his deck. Um, let's see what he decides to get, there's a Battle Presser. Looks like he's going to grab a Dimension Valley to bump that Skyfield. I don't think Skyfield really matters that much in the game. Um, I mean, Blake's taking a knockout regardless on, on all of uh, James' Pokemon. So let's see what he decides to do. Um, there's a VS Seeker, but he's already played a Sycamore, so he can't he can't use another supporter card. And I think he used Sycamore. Maybe I'm crazy. Maybe he didn't use Sycamore this turn. All right, but we see a Lysander bring up the Shaman, and we'll see a Night March for the knockout. Um, yeah, Night March for the knockout, okay. Maybe he did play two supporters, maybe I'm just crazy. But James has one prize card left, and Blake has five. And let's see, what can Blake do this turn? Alright, so we'll see, um, hmm. We'll see a Skyfield coming down. Alright, gonna bump that to Mitch Valley. We will see a, um, wait for it, a Judge. Gonna put both players at four cards, and let's see what happens. What can Blake do? Man, Blake has to take five prize cards, and all James needs to do is take one knockout. Just one night march, and he wins Alabama State right now. Uh, so both players will put four cards out, and let's see what happens. All right, we see a, a DC going out to Jolteon, and we'll see a flash rate for the knockout. All right, on to James' turn. He's going to promote that Joltik, and let's see what happens. Um, Does he have anything or not? He's looking through his hand. Does he find a Lysander? Does he find uh, a Via Seeker? A puzzle Times? I don't know how many he's played of each. Hey, speaking of Puzzle Time, there's one right there. He's going to look at his top three cards of his deck. And let's see, it looks like he's going to put it that way. Okay. We we'll see a Battle Presser coming down. He's going to discard three cards out of his deck. Or maybe just one. I guess he wasn't happy with his top three cards. Which is something cool you could do with Battle Presser. I mean, not Battle Presser. Puzzle Time. You can, like, look to see what your top three cards are going to be. And if they're bad, you can just be like, alright, I'm just going to reshuffle my deck by playing some kind of card. So, I guess that's what he's doing right here. Um, so, he has to discard at least one card with the Battle Presser. I wonder what card that, that is. Um, looks like he is going to... Not sure what he discarded. Um... I don't know what those cards were, but let's see what James decides to do. I mean, can he take a knockout? I mean, he can't. He can't, he can't take a knockout this turn. And we see a talent map revealing the last Joltik and his prize cards. All right, 
And we'll see a retreat into the other Joltik and a pass on to Blake's turn. Now, Blake has a decision. If he has a Lysander, he can either Lysander the Joltik take a knockout or he can Lysander up the Shaman. I wonder what he'll go for. A DCO to the Shaman, all right. We'll see a Rayquaza come down as well. And we will see a Battle Presser gun discard three cards out of his deck. Now, Blake, you know, usually you don't want to put down this many Pokemon, but Blake already has so many on the field. It doesn't matter if he puts any more down or not. Uh, Blake's going to see what's in there, what's in his deck, and what three cards will he discard. That's the big question. Uh, looks like he's going to discard a Spearlink and a Skyfield. Once again, Skyfield does not really matter that much in this game. Blake will take a knockout regardless. And we see Sycamore go ahead and discard Sandjaw, seven new cards. So James will at least have two turns to try to find a Lysander to win the game. Oh, man. So we'll see a, a, a Swift Ray for a knockout. On oh, to James' turn. Let's see what happens. Does he find a Lysander or not? He's looking to see how many cards are left in his deck. If he uses Zikamar, I think he just decks out. We see a Joltik coming down. And we'll see a retreat into the Joltik. I imagine so. And we'll see a pass on a Blake's turn. Can he find a Lysander or not? Or a Zerosic. Ooh. ooh. A Zerosic discard the DC. All right. And we'll see another Swift Ray, Ray for the knockout. All right. So Blake is making a comeback of the century. And can Blake find a VS Seeker for Lysander to knock out the Shaman or not? Or is, man, James might actually be out of Night Marchers. And we see James just scoop the game saying, hey, if you knock out my Night Marcher, I don't have any more attackers. I can't promote a Shaman because it gets knocked out regardless because it is an EX Pokemon and you win the game. So there we go. Blake makes a comeback of the century. It was 5-1. to one. And that judge stuck him, like, really good. And, man, that's why I'm so excited. The next set in comes back out. You can end Night Marches down to one card, and maybe they'll be stuck just like James was. Uh, usually, judges don't stick that well. I mean, you get five cards instead of uh, two. Oh, man, but there we go. And on to game number three. I imagine that James will decide to go first. But can James find multiple Pokemon? If he only puts down one Pokemon in the active... It could get knocked out turn one. We haven't seen Blake have a crazy turn one start, like Emma Break for 180 uh, turn one, but it could happen. It can easily happen with this deck. Uh, but here we go. Both players are shuffling up, and let's see what happens. Will Kyvan Hobbs take it home, or will Mega Alakazam take it home? Let's see what happens. Both players are going to shuffle. Oh, no, there's Jolting on the deck. There's, that secret's been exposed. All right, so here we go. Both players are set up getting seven new cards, and let's see what happens. There's a Lysander, someone, some, some, something. All right, so cards into the active spot. Let's see what happens in the game number three of the Alabama State Finals. Who do you want to win, Night March or the Mega Requaza Jolteon deck? So we see a Pumpkaboo in the active spot for James. We see an Ultra Ball going to discard a Pumpkaboo and a Hex Maniac. All right, and let's see what he decides to get. Maybe a Shebe, maybe a Night Marcher. It looks like he is going to eyeball a Shaman. But he's also going to look to see what's in his deck. All right, so let's see what he decides to get. Or we're going to see, yeah. I mean, imagine he's going to grab a Shaman because that was the first card he, he looked at. And, yep, there's a Shaman coming down. And Blake nods his hat, head as, yep, that's a Shaman. Yep, that's a, oh, looks like they're having a, a conversation right now. But Shaman goes into his hand. We see a Dimension Valley. We see a DC to the active. We see a Flowstone as well. And we'll see a Shaman setting up for five cards. So crazy turn one for uh, James so far. All right. We see a Town Map. Hey, there we go. Uh, gonna reveal a Puzzle Time. Joltik, Joltik, VS Seeker, Dimension Valley, and a tr Acrobike. Yep, that's the six cards. All right. So we see a, an Ultra Ball discarding a Lampet. I think it's a Lampet. And a DCE. Ooh, oh, that's not good. Discarding DC is never good. Those other cards in his hand must be, like, great cards. Like, usually you don't discard DCEs. Um, but we see a Fighting Fury Belt, and we'll see a Sycamore Gun discard his hand, drawing seven new cards. Alrighty, so it's a Fighting Fury Belt. And it, okay, going down to the Dolce. I'm not sure if I said Fighting Fury Belt. I think I said something else. But we see a Trainer's Mel grabbing a Battle Compressor. We'll probably immediately see the Battle Compressor. Never mind a Trainer's Mel. Once again, I don't know how big of a fan I am of using a Trainus mode before Battle Compressor. Usually you use Battle Compressor first and discard Night Marchers out of your deck. Uh, but, I mean, if he already is, like, fine with how many are in there, then I guess he's okay. Uh, Battle Compressor, and let's see what he decides to discard. I'm not sure what he got the Trainus mode either. I was going on the uh, rant about that. But let's see Battle Compressor. What three cards will he discard? James' turn one is taking 20 minutes, but hey, it's, it's Night March. He, he usually does. That's okay. Um, but we see Battle Presser. Let's see three cards he's going to discard. Looks like a Lysander. 
Um, uh, Lampet, Lampets, and what's the third card going to be? I did see a Lysen. It looks like another Psychic Pokemon. Um, not sure what that is. A Pumpkaboo? Yeah, I think that's a Pumpkaboo. All right. We see an Ultra Ball discarding a Pumpkaboo. Uh, and a, uh, and a teammate. So, James is having a crazy turn one. Like, he's pretty much got everything he needs. He's going to probably grab another Shaman. We know it's not prized because we can see his prize cards. So, the Shaman, the other Shaman is in his deck. The question is, does he get it or not? Uh, looks like he's eyeballing a Joltik, though. Um, so, yeah, Joltik will come down instead, which I guess is fine as well. Um, Blake can still, like, intimidate a knockout, but what James can do is just retreat into a Joltik and just pass. That way your, your Punku doesn't get knocked out with the DC, so yeah, we'll see that. And on a Blake's turn, let's see what happens. Can he get a crazy turn one to knock out this Punku and or the Shaman? We'll see Hoopa come down, use the Scoundering, gonna search for three EX Pokemon. And I mean, I imagine it might just be, like, two Jolteons. Like, two Jolteons and you'll be good to go. Um, sorry about the blurriness. I don't know why it's getting blurry all of a sudden. Um. So, we see a Scoundering going to come down. Going to search for three EX Pokemon. I wonder what they're going to be. Um, he's looking. Looks like a Shaman, Aegislash, and a Jolteon. Yeah, so Shaman, Aegislash, and a Jolteon are coming down on the Blake side of the field. There's a Jolteon, an Aegislash. And does Blake have a Lightning Energy and or a DC to start powering up this Jolteon? We see a, a Trainer's Mode. Look at top four cards of his deck. What does he get? Looks like an Ultra Ball. He can play Ultra Ball, then his hand out more, then play the Shaman to draw into cards he needs. Alright, so see Ultra Ball discard Lysander and a Sacred Ash, maybe? Maybe not, he's debating. Uh, That's definitely a Sacred Ash, but he actually takes back the other card instead of Sacred Ash. Uh, looks like he is going to discard, oh, no, wait, oh, yep, so Lysander will be discarded instead. That was funny, he put down the Shaman, picked up the Shaman, put down the Lysander, he was contemplating. Alright, so Ultra Ball, I wonder what this get him. A Jirachi, okay, so Jirachi, Aegislash, Jolteon, like, all the Night March counters are on Blake's side of the field currently, and they're ready to battle this Night March deck. Alright, the only thing to be better is if James can find, not James, if, uh, ooh, ooh, uh, man. So, via Seeker for Lysander, bring in the Pumpkaboo, switch into the Jirachi, and does Blake have an energy? There's a Shaman, gonna drop to five cards, and if Blake can find an energy, did this, did you start us? He'll be good to go, and then, is that an energy? Yeah, that is an energy. So, two DCs are in the discard pile as of right now. All right. So, on James' turn, let's see what happens. Um, does he have Puzzle of Times? I'm not sure how many he's played, or if he's played any at, as all, at all this game. So, he has a DC in his hand. The question is, does he have a Lysander? If he has a Lysander, bring up a Shaman, take a knockout, going down to four prize cards. That would be great. Um, but let's see, what does he decide to do? Uh, hmm. We could see a pass, maybe. Um, not touching anything and just pass, saying, hey, Blake, you're not going to hurt me this turn. I mean, you can't hurt me with Stardust, but the effect doesn't go off. Uh, but let's see what he decides to do. It looks like he is eyeballing Puzzle of Times. Uh, we'll see you retreat into the Joltik. Okay. And will he use double puzzle times or will he just pass? And we'll see a pass on the Blake's turn. We see a Skyfield come down. And I'm actually fine with this. Um, I think it's okay play. Um, we'll see a Battle Presser going to discard three cards out of his deck. Maybe just one or maybe two, or maybe three. I don't know. We'll see here in a second uh, which three he decides to discard. If he discards three, he has to at least discard one. Battle Presser's up to three. So you have to discard one or up to three. So it uh, looks like he's going to discard. A Skyla and a Sycamore. Alrighty. And let's see what does Blake decide to do this turn. Looks like he's going to... Uh, let's see what else does he have in his hand. We see a Trainer's Mode. Look at top four cards of his deck. And what card will he get? Looks like he's going to grab an Ultra Ball. He could Ultra Ball get maybe another Hoopa. But I don't know how much I like that play if he goes for a second Hoopa. Uh, but we see a DC going out to the Jolteon. We see a Shabe coming down as well. If only he found an energy turn. Oh, he did find an energy turn one. He attached to the Jirachi. Uh, man, I'm silly. All right. So she Shabe is set up for six. Looks like Blake's going to count how many cards on his hand. Just kidding. He's planning an Ultra Ball. Discarding a Ultra Ball and a Hoopa. This could get out another Shaman. And uh, maybe, maybe could get another Shaman. Uh, yep, gonna get another Shaman. Alright, so Blake has, like, plenty of Pokemon on the field for James to take a knockout. Which is kind of scary. Usually, when you're playing Jolteon, you just want to, like, have one Jolteon out and nothing else. But we see Shaman drawing three cards. Alright. 
And can Blake find a way to retreat this draw to without wasting the DC on the active? Because that's actually pretty important because Blake only plays the four DCs and four lightning. We will see retreat into the Age of Slash and we'll probably see a pass on to James' turn. Now, can James take a knockout while using Hex Maniac or a Lysander or something? I'll we'll find out here in a second. Uh, he's going to look to his discard pile to see what's all in there. And what play will he make this turn? That is the big question. All right. Um, can James take a knockout? He looks like he's trying to figure out what to do. And let's see what's going to happen. He's got how many Night Marchers in the discard pile. There's three, six. So if he has a license, he could bring up a Shaman. That could be a great thing to do. It looks like we'll see uh, double puzzle time coming down. All right. We see a Battle Presser and a uh, Hex Maniac being played. So we'll see a Battle Presser. Going to discard three cards, uh, three, three cards out of his deck. Most likely three Night Marchers. Just trying to take his knockout on this Aegis Slash. I think that's what James is trying to do, trying to take a knockout on this EX. And also another thing, time is of uh, is really important right now. They have a long game. Right now it is an hour and two minutes on my screen. I'm not sure when the time started, but it is 60 minutes best two out of three. And what time is called, whoever's taking the most prize cards at the end of the turn is the champion. Uh, so uh, we see a megaphone, something else, and something else being discarded. Alright. And yep, yeah, so those are being discarded. We see a Joltik and DC in his hand. And uh, let's see what he decides to do. We actually just see a pass. All right. I guess he didn't have a Hex Maniac. Um, but we see a, a Trainer Smell. Look at the top four cards of his deck. Looks like he's going to grab an AZ. All right. So an AZ could pick up this Aegis Slash. And then Blake could take a knockout on this Joltik. But I don't know if Blake wants to do that, though. Uh, Blake might actually just be fine with keeping the Aegis Slash in the active spot. All right. Uh, Alright, so we'll see what happens. I'm not. There's some dice going on. Oh, so time must be called on James' turn. Alright, so we'll see a, a, a flash rate for the knockout. Okay. On to James' turn. James must be turned. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not sure what those dice mean. I'm not going to lie. But an acrobat comes down. Alright, so an acrobat coming on down. And let's see what's going to happen. Looks like he discards something. Uh, he has a Joltik. Alright. And let's see, does James have a Lysander? We see a G DC to the Joltik. We see a VS Seeker. This is probably going to grab a Lysander. Uh, going to bring up a Shaman. And he will Night March for the knockout. They're going to retreat into Joltik. Going to Night March for the knockout. There's a Fighting Fear Bell as well. And yeah, so uh, we'll see a Night March taking the knockout. James will take two prize cards. Uh, okay, so James was turned. James is turn one. They call must call time on James' turn, I guess. Uh, so, oh, they must call time on Blake's turn. So he's zero, one, two, three. So Blake needs what he needs to do right now is he can either lie into the shame and take two price cards. Uh, but, okay, so we know that James just took a VSC card of his discard pile. I'm like nine hundred percent sure he took a DC out of discard pile, a VSC card of discard pile. So see VSC card for license to bring up that shaman. Going to bring up the shaman and he will uh, flash rate for the knockout, going down to three price cards. James is going to promote his Pokeboom, and he's probably just going to VS Seeker for Lysander to take the game. Uh, so yeah, VS Seeker for Lysander, take it the game. Now, I'll try to explain what just happened. So in best two out of three, whoever's taking most prize cards win. And since James was turned three, he actually won the game. Now, what could have happened is Blake could have knocked out the Joltik with the DCE, and they would have been tied on prize cards. And if James couldn't find a DCE, then... They would have been the next price card wins, and then Blake might have won. I don't know. This is all hypothetical situations. When I talked to Blake about this, like, okay, so when 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 James took his last price card, we saw him take a VS Seeker. So we knew that James had the VS Seeker for life in the following turn with the Joltik with the DCE. So we knew James had the win, but Blake said he wasn't sure how many price cards he had left and how many his opponent has left. He said he was just really tired, and that's why he made that mistake of not knocking out the Joltik. But either way, James could have easily found a DC to take a knockout. Um, maybe, like, find a DC and a Lysander or something, and then he might have been okay. I don't know. But there we go. There is Alabama State. James does win it in, best, uh, in the finals. I know that, that finals are probably confusing of what I said. Uh, but time was called. James won on the last turn of time by licensing up a shame and taking the most prize cards, winning the game. That's the main thing you need to know. But hopefully you enjoyed the series. Thank you for watching the, the um 
State Series. I know it was three weeks, but tomorrow we will have Main Deck Monday. It will be back, and there's a lot of new things that are going to happen to this channel. So look out for those, and I'm very excited. I'm I'm excited about a lot of stuff that's just going to happen. But hopefully you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Make sure you give this video a like and a subscribe. I worked very hard these past three weeks commentating these games and uploading them and uh, getting them out for y'all guys. So, so hopefully you enjoyed these past three weeks. Uh, hopefully everybody had a great states. I had a lot of fun going to these past four weekends of states. Uh, but thanks for watching, guys. I hope you have a great day. Alrighty, bye.